Shalom family. So, <clears throat> from the UN's Focus 2030 website, if you go to this website, and I posted the link on the community wall, you can watch them do a live countdown clock for their seven years to achieve their goals. As of right now, seven years, 13 days, 13 hours, four minutes, and 21 seconds, and counting down. No, it's not end times. No, nothing's different. No, nothing to see here. Why are they focused on seven years? Why do they have a clock saying seven years? Why do they have these clocks in the UK and Europe in various places, in shopping malls and everywhere that people can see, counting down this seven-year period? Why seven? Why one week, as mentioned in the Bible and spoken of by Daniel? Everything, once again, proving that the Word of God is 100% correct and screaming at us about the time we are at in the timeline of mankind, that everything is coming to a head, that you need to be right with Jesus. Agenda 2030, Focus 2030, Climate 2030, Woman 2030, everything is 2030, goals for 2030, World War Three imminently upon us, threats of nuclear warfare all the time, nations against nations, wars, rumors of wars, Israel in the center of the entire world's attention and at war at the moment for her very survival with all of her immediate neighbors, which scream Psalm 83, a seven year cycle famine pretty much everywhere and building every day. The mark of the beast technology in place and perfectly ready mass deaths occurring all the time. And we know what started that and it is picking up speed to be in line with the Deagle report. Damascus being a ruinous heap and being attacked regularly by Israel. Gog, Magog Alliance in full swing and openly in front of everybody talking, planning, meeting together and prepping for what we know is the Gog, Magog war. Peace and safety, peace and security, peace and stability being called out and shouted by world leaders and people everywhere all the time waiting on one man of peace that will come and provide them with this so-called peace and security for a period of one week, seven years, 13 days, 13 hours, two minutes and 16 seconds now. The days of Lot that we're living in, that's everywhere. The days of Noah that we're living in, where people are buying and selling, marrying, giving in marriage, not taking note of the signs, not taking note of anything that the Bible warns them of and sleeping at the wheel. Smart cities being prepared everywhere. Fires raging all over the place, storms, natural disasters like never before, volcanoes waking up all the time, and all of this building, a revived Roman Empire being called for and mentioned, new world order not being a conspiracy theory anymore, but being an actual term used all the time by leadership, a one world religion being pushed where they all come together, the rise and the spread of Islam all over the world, attacking and crushing other cultures and preparing the world for a time of war and chaos that's coming in the 11th Shemitah cycle. Pagan gods making a return as people turn to witchcraft, paganism, new age, everything that is wrong with the world. And all of this is going on. And at the same time, we see a clear evidence of restraint holding all of this in check. And as that restraint is holding it, that restraint can be removed in the twinkling of an eye. And when that happens, this world will change faster than it changed in 2020. The world will tip into the time of Jacob's trouble. We know even amazing things like the temple plans that are ready to go, the red heifers that are ready to be sacrificed in time for Passover 2024. Everything is in place. The priesthood school the mikvahs, everything, they are good to go. They just need us out of the way and the man of peace to come and make his treaty of death, a covenant of death, and bring in his period that he thinks is going to be incredible. All these things are at the door and we who are awake see them and are excited by them and are watching for the return of Jesus Christ our Lord. And while we watch, we occupy, we spread the word of Jesus Christ, we preach the gospel in season and out of season, whether accepted or not, and we shine our lights and keep our lamps full, so that when he comes, may he find us busy. God bless.
keep looking up and keep checking. Seven years, 13 days, 12 hours, 59 minutes and 40 seconds. Shalom.